hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to set up a laravel project using laravel shell for this make sure you have already installed desktop docker in your local system and also you need to install wsl2 and enabled it if you have not installed it the link is given in the description below or somewhere here in the screen you can follow the installation steps there all right let's get started first of all let's start the docker to start the docker you can click on the docker desktop and it will take some time to get up and running here you can see here it is starting and it is already running now alright docker is running now let's go to the settings first inside the setting you can see resources click on this and under this we have WSL integration make sure you have already enabled integration with additional restores and you can minimize this now let's open the command prompt here let's check for the WSL for that you can run the command WSL hyphen L and hyphen V it will show the list of WSL sorry it's WSL okay here you can see we have WSL distributions and here you can see docker desktop data is the default one let's make Ubuntu 18.04 as a default for that you can run the command WSL hyphen iPhone set hyphen default you can give the distribution name and distribution name is Ubuntu iPhone 18.04 and you can just click on now again let's check the WSL mode for that WSL iPhone L L is a list and V you can type here you can see Ubuntu 18.04 is now default so now we are ready to install the Laravel okay guys let's type WSL to get into the Ubuntu and let's get into the user directory for that type CD trial okay we are in the root directory of the Ubuntu now let's go to the documentation copy this command and paste it here it will take a couple of minutes depending upon your internet speed so please wait for a while okay here you need to enter your ubuntu user password that you have given while installing WSL and ubuntu alright laravel project is installed successfully now let's clear this screen let's minimize this as well okay you might be curious about how do you access your ubuntu files for that let's open the file and here you can click double backslash and WSL dollar enter here we have Ubuntu 18.04 and inside Ubuntu we have home and here is the user inside user we have the Laravel project that we have created it is example there's app okay now let's get back to the Windows terminal okay now let's go inside the project directory for that type cd and the project name my it's example hyphen app now we are inside the project directory here you can see we have all the files of Laravel projects ok now let's go to the documentation here you can see to run the project we need to do the sale up let's copy this command paste it here if it is a fresh install docker requires downloading all dependency images so it will take some time to build your container for the first boot up It will take a couple of minutes so I'll be back once the installation is done. Ok guys here we have an error service laravel.test failed to build. Ok let's uh, copy for this. okay let's try with this one copy this let's paste it here okay let's read on the command ok 
okay I'm going to restart my system I'll be back soon alright guys I have just restarted my system so let's go inside the project let's run the command Alright guys, our Laravel cell is up and running. So let's get back into the Docker desktop. Here in the green icon, you can see our project example iPhone app. Once you expand this, you can see all the images. Now let's execute the down command. Sail down. Let's get back to the container. Here our project is removed. If we run once again, sail up. Then you'll see the project running and all the images. Here you can see example this app is available now and it's running and all the images are now available okay now let's run the project through the browser open the browser now to run the project here you can see the documentation you can click on this link okay here our Laravel project is running okay our Laravel project is running now let's get back to the documentation and here we have complete documentation about Laravel cell so click on this link and you can scroll down Currently to run the project we are using this long command so you can create an alias because of that you don't need to type long command every time so you just can type with the alias name and you can just keep up to run the project and to make it down you can just keep a alias name and use the command down okay let's try that I'm going to exit this alright now let's uh, make it down first okay let's add the alias copy and you can paste it here and our cell as an alias is added so to make it run you can just type cell up and to make it down you can just type cell down okay our project is running now let's run it from the browser for that localhost you can type okay now project is running let's make it down okay to make it down you can just type down okay project is down now so let's run it once again okay now it's not running so let's make it up once again okay our project is back now alright our project is running so let's get back to the documentation here in the documentation you can see starting and stopping shell under this we have already done shell up okay if you want to run the container in the background, you can just use the command cell up hyphen D. D will detach, okay, so that every Docker containers will run in the background. And let's do that. For this, let's make it down first. Sail down. Okay, our project is down now. So let's check it in the Docker desktop. Here, we, we don't have any running project. Uh, let's run the project with new command. Sail up hyphen D. It will run all the containers in the background. Okay, here you can see our project is running now. So let's go to the browse and refresh this page. Okay, our project is running now. So let's get back to the documentation again. Here to make it down, you can just use cell down. To uh, execute the other commands, you can use this documentation. Like to install the queue work, you can just use cell artisan q colon work. Instead of using php, you can just use cell. Okay. Now and for the other command like to view the version of the PHP you can just use cell php script.php and like executing composer command you can use like this you can use the alias and you can just type the composer command let's do this okay let's paste it here okay using this cell we can install the composer command also and we have other details you can follow this documentation here you can see all other details so you can go through the documentation I'll just add this link in the description below so here we have other like uh, running npm run port we don't need to run it now so later in the future we'll execute this as well and like for the mysql redis you can go for this as well like for the file storage if you want to run this test you can run this command and here we have other details for the previewing emails you can use this 
and here is one most important part is like uh, you can run the PHP version different version for different project that is the main advantage of using shell and here one most important feature that it has given is like sharing your site to the public you can share your local project to your friends or colleagues it will be easy to share with others you can just type this command and run the project ok guys we have successfully installed our laravel project using the laravel shell so if you have any confusion regarding it or if you found any issue you can just comment in the comment section below thank you for watching this video i'll be back with more videos so please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you